starting so we may be about to go live and i uh, i think okay. the nyc orchid queen has commented already oh, already already oh, now it's live now it's live there you go. Are here. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool. so hello everybody just tuning in it's me rachel from gardening at duenza with john greco here in barcelona and Hi. i okay. here he is and I just want to say, if you aren't subscribed to John's channel, you really need to go and check him out because he is the unboxing king and he has such great taste in orchids. I always love watching your unboxings and seeing what you've got up your sleeve. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and perhaps we'll do a bit more of that today, this evening. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why not? <laughs> It'll be a first. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about Malvern then. Oh, it was, it was a lot of fun. And I have to thank um, Vince and Dawn, who was a couple that I had met actually last year at, at Malvern, who was subscribed to my channel. And, and then we, so we decided to meet up this year. And so we stayed in the same hotel and, and we had just like a lot of went to the show together and it was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, it, it was just, it was great. We got, it was cooler than last year, but I think all around everywhere it's been like cooler. It's taken a little while for the summer to like kick in. So it was, you know, it was a little chillier, like at night, it was definitely like, you know, long sleeves and, you know, sweatshirts and stuff, but it was nice. It was cool. It was, you know, it was a nice little getaway, made it like a four day trip out of it. And, um, and yeah, it was lots of fun. The show was, the show was good too. Like last year, actually, honestly, to tell you the truth, I think last year's I enjoyed more. It was a little better last year also because this year was missing Periflora and, and Equigenera was not really up to par this, this show. But other than that, it was, it was fun. We had fun all around. It was a good yeah. time. Yeah, and I wish you could have made it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish you could have made it. But you know what? Actually, meeting people for the first time at an orchid show isn't really the best way. I much prefer to meet people like we did, you know, um, True. When I to Barcelona. Because, you know, you're too distracted with looking for the best plants and you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. But true. I heard legendary cinnamon buns made it to Malvern. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. Oh, those are amazing. Yeah. Absolutely Thank amazing. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was getting slack. I told you afterwards because after Roger gave me the shout out, then anyone else who I'd seen that was just like, "Hey, what about mine?" <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, they were they were definitely a hit. Yeah. Now, listen. Can you see any comments anywhere? Yeah. Oh uh, no, I I don't. My husband says, "Oh yeah, here are some comments." <laughs> let's let's just have a look at what we've got here. Unfortunately, I'm outdoors, so the light is kind of um, shining all over the. Screen. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Oh, Actually. Um, okay, on my phone, I can probably get the, get the comments. Okay, uh, yippee, don't forget, says Insa Shop. Okay, that's great. Didn't forget, didn't forget. Oh, <laughs> I need my glasses. Can you see them too? And Diana Beaton says, hello, Ireland and Spain. Don't forget. Yeah, hold on. I, I, yeah, I'm getting them on here. I got the, the, the comments. Cool. And from Stacey yeah. Ranali and Fernanda mm -hmm. Nascimento in Portugal. Adam Lemus, Stacy Renali, Ashley Grable, and Inse Schnapp again. I think I'm mispronouncing that name. Okay, thank you, everybody. Oh, and Zainab Chugal from India. Wow, impressed here. That's brilliant. Thank you nice. for coming in. And the New York Orchid Queen, of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be correct if she hadn't. Yeah. Yeah, I just sold it like 10 minutes ago. I was like, I'm going to be on live stream with Rachel in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. <laughs> nice. Oh, Vince wrote as well. We were at, well, we were at the Melbourne show and we had lunch. There was like a little area we can, you know, we didn't have lunch and it was the food trucks. And right behind us was like a, a stage set up where they were doing nothing about more or less than sheer sh sheep shearing. It was a sheep shearing contest. Sheep shearing? Yeah. Like, orchid show? Yeah. Sorry. Well, because we did the. Uh, because no, England is an agricultural country, basically. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Being well, because the show was at, it wasn't just an orchid show, it was at the Three Counties Fair, which was like this whole big, like the, the orchid tent was just one tent on the whole big fairground that was like very, yeah, agricultural. It was like farming. There were like alpacas, there were, you know, cows, sheep, the courses. Well, it was like. Well, you're lucky they didn't get you, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. I was uh, we were laughing because I was watching showing Vince. It was um, Family Guy has this uh, little clip of a sheep shearing. It's a little skit that um, with the sheep's getting sheared and he's getting turned on by the by the, sh the guy shearing him. It was hysterical. It was really really funny. But uh, yeah, so while we're eating, it's like nah, 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 nah. it sounded like an auction. You know when they're calling up an auction, 
and the, and the, and Ren like really, and they're going yeah, and he goes really well, and he's going faster on the left leg, and uh, we're like oh god, we're in the middle of the boondocks. But no, it was cool. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, it's brilliant. And are you going to share with us what you bought at the show? Yes, yes, I am. Which I haven't gotten it all potted up yet, but uh, okay. Yeah. Let's just have a quick look over at the comments though before uh, we go in. Ooh. I don't want to miss. Um, oh, Vince says Vince Ransom. Hi, Vince, and happy anniversary. Uh, John, did you learn anything about sheep shearing at Malvern? Yeah, yeah that was it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what do we got? Uh, hello from Delaware, from Erica Patterson. Um, goodness. Um, and the gentleman or the lady in India asked, can I see this video tomorrow morning? Yes, it'll be on my channel if you can't stick around now. If you have to do something like go to work, fair enough. <laughs> she was ogre queen in New York City, ogre queen, so she just got in from a night out, but you, we're better than sleep. <laughs> so we're worth it. <laughs> nice. Very good. Very good. Mm. Okay, John. Okay, entertain us. What are you going to show us? Okay, let's see what I got. Oh, and yes, I was. Um, that question. Oh, yeah, my that gosh. You, there are some rude comments here already, John. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, no. But that, I'm is, that is, that, is that a joint you're smoking? Guilty. Guilty <laughs> for my nerves. <laughs> 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 Show us the orchids, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, first I got um, we'll go with like the, the more normal, regular ones. I got the, you know, you know the Shari baby. Like you know, you can always do it with an extra Shari baby. Wow. It, was the, it was the only one. Only one stand had them, and he only had one. So I was like done, sold. And it's a pretty healthy one too. It's got like lots of, you know, it's got like two or three new growths over here. Let's see. Got new growths and yeah, I haven't potted it up yet because I don't. I'm thinking about putting, keeping this one in bark because I'm other ones in semi hydro just to see if, if they grow any. I mean, they grow well in the semi hydro, but it always seems like they're, they're not getting enough water or that the leaves get all like tattered and, and the bulbs get you know, kind of strong. I mean, they still flower and they still grow, but I don't know. Let me see if they can do better. Maybe if it does any better in, in the bark. Just and tell us what the scent is like. What, what? I'm sorry. What the scent is like. Tell us. Like. Like hot cocoa on a cold winter morning. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It really is. And the sun's been hitting it, so that's why like it really is it really smells. It's really pretty pungent. And okay. uh and the second start a spike here with the buds just starting to open. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. yeah. All right, so it's a sherry baby. Really good. Mm. Um then I've gotten a I've never seen this one before. It's a Motonia. A lot of these didn't even have tags on them, and I'm like, really? The, the, the guy's like, yeah, you know, it's a Miltonia hybrid. I'm like, okay, well, you can even just put that on the tag, but whatever. Um, it's in bloom. It's got two spikes. The second spike is coming out right here. And it, look at the flowers. Well, yeah. Yeah, like I've never really seen. I mean, it's definitely like a Miltonia flower, but I'm, you know. It's, it's, Hello, Adam it's Rogers, fun. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a Miltonia hybrid, which I think I'm going to put into semi hydro because they usually do pretty well. And it's got a new growth coming out here. The screen, John. Can we, see the oh, the Can we see the flower sure. closer to the screen? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty, it's very pretty. No, no fragrance, but it's beautiful nonetheless. <laughs> um, okay, what else here? I got these. Now, these, this is one I got from um, what is it, from Wickman. My last order from them that had died after like three days. Oh it was yeah, the, the Ionocidium popcorn Haruri. <laughs> it's, they look like little mini, yeah, they look like tiny oncidium flowers. Let's see if get them. Very cute. They're like pink and yellow and white. They're very cute. So I figured, you know, I'll just get two of them and maybe put them up together or something. But yeah. know, just, I like the flowers. They're very cute. It does look like popcorn almost. It does, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. I got, oh, then there's this antelope dendrobium, which I have um, one or two. Um, one they're very young though and this one was in bloom now it's like the blooms are shot at this point i mean it's been like between the the traveling and the, the repotting and everything but it um oh, gosh, the it's a good one. One. definitely on my wish list look at that oh, yes yeah, so they're like really they're very i love these blooms and like more than half of them have fallen off already so you can imagine this thing was like full when i got it um wow. but very nice it's a very good plant and and uh healthy it's got a new growth coming up I don't know if you'll be able to see it down here, but yeah, this is an antelope type of lasianthera. I think it's called lasianthera, lasianthera, dendrobium. 
There's another one without a tag. You know, gotta love it. I'm just seeing a comment here from Plantus Domana who got a uh, a shari baby and all the roots are lost and what should she do? And I'd pot that in sphagnum. What do you think, John? Yeah, yeah, I would do, yeah. Sphagnum Definitely. is very good for getting oncidiums to grow back roots. It's not great for cattleyas at all, but oncidiums, yes. Yeah. Luckily, this one, I mean, the root system on this one was insane. It, it was just, it was completely healthy. I just like have it in there with some chunky bark to hold it up, but it was, a really, lot of I have to say a really healthy root system and they were like all alive pretty much. Not so much, I can't say as much for the dendrobium. The dendrobium had a, was basically, it still had its, the plug, you know, when they, when they were like seedlings. The yes. Little, so it still had, yeah, so it was that. And then around it was like, you know, with some decaying media. So it wasn't that in the best condition. It has really barely any roots, but um, this, this is one that we seen a two or three of them in bloom and like in the displays. Um, and it was just, I didn't I had no idea until I saw it in person. And it was so amazing. This is a Prostechia prismatocarpa. Oh. Um, yeah, no blooms on this one now. It had been in bloom apparently like three times already, but um, but you have a new growth over here and another new, just a new one coming up here. And one, another one back here. But this was a really beautiful, Maybe. Like in bloom, the thing's like breathtaking. It was like a whole like row of flowers. Up I'm going to show you something now in a second. Just hold that thought while you move oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a for yeah, fantastic. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, then okay, I've gotten oh, a phalaenopsis, which was also what well, was in the, it had a bud, but it it lasted. And one bloom that was already open is already gone. What did um, you say that was, John? Oh, well, this is a phalaenopsis. It's phalaenopsis. I'm not sure how to show you pronounce this. Fasciata, Fasciata, F A S C I A T A, Fasciata, Fasciata. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Phalaenopsis. Peasant um, orchid. Yeah, well, it's, it's a, um, a high species. So it's it's a little more. Okay, a little right. <laughs> it's a little. <laughs> just just um, briefly there, Smatocarpa. And my prismatic carp is in flower here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Wow. So finally. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I must make it in bloom video soon, but like it really is a nice one. I don't get any scent from it, but they are unusual flowers and the nice markings on them. Yeah, this is, they're very they're striking. Yep. Well, good. Nice. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, yeah, it had pretty cute bloom. I wish I had the, one of the blooms still on here to show you, but it's got another spike. Um, Coming out here, let me see, right, like right, right here. Uh -huh. spike. So hopefully, so this will be bloom when you got it anyway. Yeah, it had one flower open and one another bud, and the, the flower had dried up since, and then the bud blasted on the on the travel here. Um, another phalaenopsis. Um, this is a corner survey flavor, unique called. Okay. I guess it's the the white the alba version of the which just the bloom is already and open and closed. Yeah, so it's been then, but uh, but no, it's a nice healthy phalaenopsis. Another species, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and what else? Let's see. Then there was the oh. and the uh, high Patricia ducks from San Diego, whose lit wish list is growing exponentially as you speak. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else asks, "I wonder if Roger is going to join us? I don't know." And somebody he said else he's going to stop in. Yeah, Roger was, his, Roger was setting his alarm clock, so be sure not to miss it. So maybe he's still hitting the snooze button. <laughs> and hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. Ashley Grable as well, also in San Diego. Hello. Goodness. Mm. You brought the Americans in, John. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here's a monster brassia. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huge. The thing is huge. It's Now, it had the one spike. This was already open already. The flowers already dried up. And they, you know, they get that reddish orange when they... And as they as they seem to to get old, but yeah, so that but it has the second spike that is still opening the buds, and a third spike over here. So okay. it's got yeah. It's, I mean, this thing is huge, and it's got I like wow. I don't know how many new growths. Hmm? Wow, really huge. impressive. Yeah, you love that, I right. love big pseudobulbs. I'm sure you yeah. do as well. The yes. big fat ones. From yep. <laughs> so and this one's got new new roots just starting to peak out from there. So this is like prime time for it to be repotted. I want to get yeah. this into a bigger pot. So sure yeah, is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this is definitely. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> just while you go over there, John, I'll just uh, present yeah. to you my brassian flower. Uh, 
guys didn't plan this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Um, what's this one? Uh, Vericosa, which I've had for so It's the first flowering. So it's um, that actually, a seamless, I'm really with the flowers. They're a bit kind of wishy washy, yellowy. But uh, yeah, but a flowering spike is a flowering spike. So we won't knock it in the teeth. Yeah. Know. And it also happens that my Brassierex is in, in bloom. This is the Brassierex I've had for like three, three years already, this one. It's, it's a beautiful. monster too, isn't it? Huge, it's yeah. This is huge. Another, another spike over here. But this is another one that seems to stay, seems to be always like kind of dry on the dry end. And, I get, and it's got water and everything. It's doing, I mean, but I don't know if it's just, I look at it blooms. I mean, it still blooms every, every year. Right, Poppy? <laughs> she's been good. She's been quiet. You know why? Because she's not squawking because other things in my ear. So she can't hear. If we were having like a conversation, like she heard your voice, and she'd remember the other night, I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> And uh, hello to Kathleen McNally in South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us. That's wonderful. And uh, Nina Boss from Marbella and EDDM Orchids, uh, who brilliant. Great to see you. <laughs> Lots of people here, John. Yep. Oh, nice. That's great. Some of them want your plants, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy needs. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely. I'll show Poppy. Stacy says Poppy needs to make an appearance. She will. I'll bring her over. <laughs> EDDM Orchids asks, did you leave anything for anybody else at the show? Um, a couple of things, you know, just, you know, but <laughs> no, no, it was just, and I was, and I was like, you know, trying to not go overboard. It's also, oh, if, I, not I noticed if, yeah, this is an epidendrum. Um, another one that had no tag. It's like epidendrum, um, you know, um, hybrid, but it's more the red flowers on top, which it had one that was in spike already. And, and this one is just opening, but, um, and I'm coming as I'm looking at the plant, it's got like two or three of these akikis. They're not even like the actual mother plant, but they're huge. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's definitely a big, yeah. It's another one I haven't you gotten got completely repotted yet. Plants, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I brought the big suitcase. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoops. Well, it's a, a, just Dimitri's suitcase. Oh, I'm so, I was watching you? that from there. I was, I was in <laughs> Melbourne watching that actually. I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> Did so you have to case him? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, actually, but things, everything fit in there pretty well. I didn't have to like sit on it or like force it shut. So everything was like, you know, it was it was planned right, which is usually about 13, 14 plants. Because I ended up getting 13. I'm like, no, it's better. Like, I have to get one more. So it's usually either 14 or 15. But yeah, it, everything fit all right. <laughs> because 13 today. is an unlucky number. Is that it? Are you superstitious? <laughs> yeah. Well, superstitious, you know, when it, when it convenient, when it's convenient, no? <laughs> 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 um, now, what else did I have in the bag? I had another something I was forgetting. There's the big, well, I'll get the big one. This is the um, Stanhopia, which I mean, I'd say from the very beginning, I've, I've like dreamed of had from when watching Brittany, uh, Brittany Lowry's videos, oh, yeah. Holy City Orchids, which used to have a, the, Stan, the Stanhopia in bloom. I was like, I have got to get one of those like to, to bloom for me. And I have, I'm t I literally have like, wait, yeah. I have like four of them. Uh, and, and never gotten one to bloom for me yet. So the, I, the second now, and this is why, like, you know, you think I walked around the whole day, like the first day, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do tomorrow really? But okay. I went back and you don't, wouldn't believe how much you didn't see like the first time, like going back the second day, there were things that I was like, how did I miss this yesterday? Like four, they had four stand hope in spike sale for like 20 pounds. <laughs> John, <laughs> I, I just got to interrupt you there. And it's an amazing looking stand hope. Yeah. I was just looking at the comment here by Vicky who said, do you have your purpurata here? And I know she was addressing that question to me and I was going to say, no, it's far much too, far too much trouble to take it out from the greenhouse. But my husband just ran over and got it. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Sit back a bit. Yeah, it's looking good. I must make an in flower video. Like, it really is. Oh look. my god, that is amazing! Three spikes, but it's a really big plant. But three spikes, so we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flowers. Unbelievable! That's gorgeous. A super scent as well. Yeah, I, I'll make an in flower video soon, as I'm sure you'll make another what I got in Malvern video as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I actually did that on unpacking when the night I got back. Because I figured, you know, I can't like take them all out and then do it. She's yeah, getting like, all right, Bobby, come over now. Um, so, I, so I did. I taped it, but I didn't make it yet. I'm sorry. Right. So you're going to repot that then in a pot with holes so that the flower spikes can 
you know? Yeah, like well, I'm going to wait for this to to, to blow first. Spike. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I bought it in spikes. So just, this came on the plane. Like I carried this from Melbourne to Barcelona, like in my arms. This thing, yes. you leave. Like, you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, this is not getting checked. This is not, and like, see this something else here looks like a spike, but I think it's it's might be another leaf because it's going up. There might be another pseudobulb like forming, and was and there's another one over. Oh, there's this one coming out here. Yeah, there's another one. On this. Yeah, they, these must be bulbs because they're going up. But this one, yeah, check that oh, out. Sometimes the spikes and the buds are almost more exciting than when the flower opens. But I mean, not yeah. the people stand hope. No, but I know what you mean because it's like finally, like yeah, because you know yeah. it's coming. <laughs> so yeah, then this is the. This is my major. That was the thing I was most excited about was the Stanhopia. And the um, leaves are like a tropical rainforest right there in your apartment already. Uh, yeah. It's so big. Yeah, but oh, but I'm I'm so mad. My um. Oh, oops. Oh gosh. Yeah, a, oh no no no. There was a there was a, okay? a yeah it was a phalaenopsis. <laughs> so, um, what's it called? The uh, my motor system. So it gave out and get puppy. It's it's my osmosis system. I was I check it periodically to see you know just to make sure it's coming out the way it's supposed to be coming out, and it was like 150 like TDS like just you know the, just the osmosis water which is not really acceptable. I mean, um, I mean 40 I could deal with like 50 but you know not 150. So they came the other day and they, they had to take the thing away because there was something wrong. They just changed my filters and the membranes like uh, two months ago. So they, right. they changed them once a year. There shouldn't have been like there's no problems at this point. And yeah, she said, yeah, it's coming out a little high. And there's also something with like the the switch in the inside that could shut, shuts off by itself for some reason. Something was loose, so they had to take the, the actual thing. So what are you back. doing now? How long are they going to have it? Oh my god! Hopefully, he put like a note to like you know to rush the the, the service. But yeah. hopefully, hopefully, I mean, as soon as I have it back is Monday. But I think it's not going to be till like Tuesday or something. And I've been like you know, so I've been buying like distilled water like crazy like the past three days like the five liter bottles at a time like i've literally bought out the, the package in front of me the, the packy deli and like around the corner too so yeah i mean I, that's why it's another thing that's stopped me from repounding because it's so hot today like i really needed to like water like and i yeah. couldn't and i like i've been spraying and doing whatever but like it's it sucks it's, yeah. uh, but you don't have no problem you use the, the uh tap water right your your tap water is fine or do you do you treat um, the water sorry, at all? Yeah, i use tap water i've got soft water and um and that's as far as I go. <laughs> yes. No, okay. I'm sorry, just to see the question that somebody asked us what Stan Hopia was it? It's uh Embryi, Embri M E M B R E E I, I think it's Embri Embryi. That's the Stan Hopia. I'm sorry, I forgot to say which one it was. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And um Bumblebee says the live stream is such a great idea. A question to you both, hand on heart. <sighs> What's your take on sharing water? Never ever. I know I can't say that. Go ahead, you go first. <laughs> okay. Well, anybody who's watched my channel for a long time knows that in the beginning I used to always share water for my orchids. And I did that for several years. And I think there's a watering video back there that, that shows how I shared the water. But then I started to get these um, kind, of, kind of botrytis problems on the cattleyas and lost a number of plants. And I stopped sharing water. So I don't share water now. So that, that's my story. But the big problem with not sharing water is that it's then too cumbersome to feed the plants because you waste too much feed because you can't reuse the water on other plants. So, do you know, like it's share water or feed as far as I'm concerned. And I've tend to go, on, to go without feeding for a long time. So that's my story. What's your story? <laughs> No, I well, I, with the semi hydro, most of them, the ones that are like potted up in the pots, I, I they do get like from the you know, you could just because it's much easier to just pour them, you know, to flush them out every time with them, um, just to be able to pour. But like, for example, the um, like all my bandas, all the bandas get share the same, you know, the water in the in the, um, in the bucket that I have, they all get soaked in there, you know, and they so all the ones that are like pretty much that are hanging that get soaked share the same bucket of water, and then. Um, I have a, another bucket that has for my mounts that I, I one of the mounts I soak them also. I just but and so they all get soaked. Usually I'll do the, I'll put a fresh mm. batch of water in, do the mounts first, and then I you know because I I don't like to, to keep it for like more than like two days the water because it, it just you know I feel like it loses it gets like you know saturated with you know junk from all the plants and and must also get like yeah yeah you know, it's not really oh. valuable anymore yeah it's not so I but 
I I mount water the mounts, and then I'll use that I'll use that water for like for the baskets. I'll put them in there, like I like to soak the baskets too, and and I'll I, in the meantime I like scoop water out of there to water other ones, and so like I do share, um, not not all the time, not all, and not for all the plants, but the ones you know like I, like the mounts get in, get get a fresh watering. They 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 get the thing they get in there first, so they they get clean. But then and they're not I don't think any of them are dirty or messed up or anything so I'm not worried about them contaminating the other one it's just the other ones that I'm worried that like you know after I ordered the other ones I wouldn't go back and throw the mounts back in there you know what I mean it was just um but yeah, so I do share but not that much. in the real world and you have to do I mean That's it's it. it's so it's so easy to say what you should or shouldn't do on paper but when you're actually faced with the scenario <laughs> you, you know you have to do what's practical that's it. When I had 30, 40 orchids, it was, I was doable. Like, you know, and, and yeah, exactly. so like, I still like, I just have to pour it, but it's, it's just so much. It's a, the volume at this point. It's, it's like, I can't, I, I couldn't, it's not feasible really. Mm. So, I don't know as much as you know, you shouldn't and whatever, but be careful in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Trostinsky asks, what's the best excuse to use on your spouse or partner when you spend too much money on orchids? <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got a good one actually I've got yeah. a good one. it's um somebody gave it to me it was a present it was a division of somebody else's plant that's <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> uh, right beside me so uh i'm really <laughs> on thin ice here <laughs> <laughs> well i have no spouse at the moment so I'll, I'll probably know, I've got the answer to yeah oh let me get it all right now let's go yeah so hmm. all right <laughs> And Vince asks me, what temperature is my indoor setup running at now? And do I have a daytime, nighttime drop? And I do, I mean, I have a natural drop, whatever is the ambient temperature at the moment. There's no heat on indoors. I, I don't actually know what what the indoor temperature is at the moment. It's 25, something like that, maybe during the day or less. Yeah. I, yeah, sorry, I can't really help you. And waving back to Sweden from a collection of unseen footage. Hi. And somebody who's 15 from Portugal and would love to show you my orchids. How can I send you? Uh, well, a mensonge. <laughs> a lie. <laughs> um, I, well, we'll talk about that afterwards. I don't know how to do that now. <laughs> And uh, somebody says, oh, uh, John, I am playing the fiddle for you. Why? For when, when, when I was telling the water story or <laughs> for what? I guess. I I guess, guess yeah. Stacy. Like, poor me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John, sorry, are, are we finished? Is that all you bought? Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what, was that all? No, there can't be. A, that, I'm in that... absolute shock here. No, that that, that, was that 14? Um, we, the what, Statopia was the last one there. It was, yeah, and then there was, all right, the, there was those three. There was the um, one, that, that, that. Could it be? Well, either we went through them really fast on, like, yeah i'm just I, looking here there's a message and maybe you can help with this question john because um okay. i'm not gonna it's a uh, caitlin mcnally asks what is your view on cut, cutting roots off catacetum type orchids when in dormancy and as we all know i don't grow catacetums um and i don't give advice on growing catacetums oh. so uh, <laughs> would, yeah. you, would you care I found two to more i found some more that i did which we'll do after this question i found okay. some more I forgot. yeah um well I don't. The first year I d I did cut the roots off just because of you know I'd watched from from uh, Brittany and even from uh, Astrid's that you know the, since they really only love over on the new roots that come out you know to support it they they don't need the old ones but in this for example in the semi hydro I don't I leave actually just since you don't have to really change the pot I leave them leave them in there and even when I do repot them like I like to keep the the um, roots just for like basic to support the plant like in the pot. Otherwise, you really have to like stake it and, yeah. and you yeah, know, it's and, really, like, and, and while it's wobbly, I can, the little new roots coming in can die. So, like, I noticed it's a lot easier to, to stabilize the plant in the pot with if you keeping, now you don't have to keep all of them, but just some so you can, you know, someone could get it like to stand up and, and not be like wobbly and whatever. And, but as far as like, I don't think it apports any nutrients to the plant, like, in, until, you know, 
once the new roots come out, that they'll be the, they do all the work. So, yeah, yeah. And just, is that a support. transition type you fought in uh, Melbourne in your hand there? Oh, no, no, this is a um, um, one in your green. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just to show, yeah, like it's coming, yeah, it's coming out. And I've had a few of them. I've some in semi hydro and some in, in the, the root uh, bark and, and sphagnum moss just to, to try it. Okay. I, I, what I did get from Equigenera was um, a Rincordi Rink Bangkok Sunset. Okay. Oh, the Bangkok yeah. Sunset. Ah, Which yeah. I, had, I had one from, um, from Schwerter, I think from a while ago, and I still have it, but it, it never really did much of anything. It's not like the band is like, my band does really well, but these, this, I don't know, this thing and, and the other one, what's the other one, the uh, Rinko Stylus? Um, right. Another one that like, you know, it's it's kind of to get them going, I don't know, for me, it's, they're just not so easy as it seem like it would be easier than they are but yeah so this one looks you know pretty healthy it had like a little basil cakey growing out of here but that like you know that was already like kind of a little wobbly when i got it so i just figured it was going to last and it didn't but so yeah let's we'll see i'll give this one another try okay, and good. uh from equigenera because equigenera they, they had um it was like the stuff they had was just very like all the everything had like mold growing on it and it, it seemed like maybe like, the stuff they had grown like maybe back from the rhs show in march and they still had it like yeah, yeah. So it was kind of yeah, nothing really. Because I mean, sometimes their their stuff is like you know, I, I could do with just them at a show. Sometimes like they they really like you know, but apparently you look like a pirate with uh, Pappy on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, all right. I need like the eye patch and um, yeah. <laughs> and I got a, another bu uh, bubble film actually. This this is right here oh, from. Did um, you? Oh, okay, and then then there's a question for you. But uh, okay. which bubble film did you get? Um, Virescens or Virescens? I'm not sure how you pronounce that exactly. But it's got um. Big one. It's, yes, it's it's established. It's got a, a, the flowers are really cool on this. Um, I bought one of these in, on I ordered it last year, and I, and I have it has hasn't bloomed yet or anything. It's still like adapting and. But this one's pretty much established, so um, should be flowing. You should probably that remember is the whole story of bulba films, right there. As far as I'm concerned, they put out these growths that are always miles over the edge of the pot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, keep up with them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even if they take keeping them potted, it's, it's just yeah, they just they grow anywhere but inside the pot. And, then and they, they like so much moisture that, like, when they're they're hanging out like that, they're just not getting it. That's now, it. I don't do well with bulba films. No, I mean this is my last attempt. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a question there for you, uh, John. Where's it gone now? Um, oh, can't remember what it was now. Oh dear. Oh, can you explain the light setup you have and the benefits? That sounds like quite a long answer will be required there. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just basically the, to to supplement the the natural light that see the natural light that comes in from the window. It's not direct sunlight until now, like now when the sun is setting, because that's the west over that way. So like as soon as it's going down, that, that's when it comes in the window. But other other than that, other there wouldn't be enough like, daylight in here to keep them growing. So that just basically they just supplement the natural daylight that I do get, and um, yeah, keep them pretty much on the schedule of the of the uh, daylight hours. So now it's about like 14, 15 hours, and then the winter. The winter I, I still keep the lowest I go is like twelve. I'll keep it like a, you know twelve hours on, twelve hours off, but. And it helps. I'm sure it helps them. I'm sure it does. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, I, oh, <laughs> I, the earphones. <laughs> the earphones out of my ear. <laughs> she, good girl. She was good. I had my friend taking care of her while I was gone. She was a good girl. Now, we have a, an interesting question here from My Green Pets. And hello, My Green Pets. Uh, if you had to place yourself as a member of a particular orchid tribe, which would it be? I'm not sure I understand that question. <laughs> Are you okay there, okay. John? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> was she um? Did she mean? Do you mean by a uh, tribe by like which 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 uh, the yeah, best? I'm not sure. Generalize? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, what's your favorite uh, genus then? I mean, I let's presume that's what it means because I'm not quite sure. And for me, it's well, Camellias. Presume, but <laughs> yeah, I love um well. I don't know. Uh, William Green, of course, from My Green Pets. Sorry, I had to yeah. blank William as to what your name <laughs> was there for a minute. <laughs> um, I would say, I mean, well, the ones that get grow best for me, the ones that are the ones that I like the most. Which, which, which would, would, would you? But you don't have allegiance to any particular genus, then? 
No, I mean, I just, I like, you know, um, I like uh, Brassia and Odonto Brassia, Odonto Blossom, Odonto Brassia, that kind of like those that type of flower that, that kind of bloom, you know, that kind of star, starry, spidery shape, kind of, yeah, intense. I like those. Those are the ones that, that I enjoy the most of bloom wise. And honestly, Sam Hobius. Sam Hobius is like, just like, Sam love it. Okay. So I'd be happy if I had one stand over that bloom and nothing else. <laughs> I'll watch with interest then as uh, as you progress with your stand home mm, and yeah. make my mind whether I'm going to experiment a bit further then because <laughs> the flowers are amazing, aren't they? They really are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Probably just as it probably got a timeout. Got a timeout. <laughs> I don't know what she was like what chewing my arm. I'm like, ah, <laughs> trying not to scream in agony. <laughs> yeah, I think she was, you know, was, yeah. I'm just saying, well, I could see, you know, she wasn't, she wasn't stopping. So I was like, she ran over and she jumped, climbed back up to the cage. Maybe she wanted to go, go back to the cage anyway. Uh, somebody is saying? asking, how is Pappy's name spelt? Is it P A P I? It, yeah, that's originally because originally when I bought her, I think it's, it's Anna, I think it's her. It, um, she, I thought it was, she was male. So I, that's why I named her like Papi, like you say, like like you know, Latino Papi, P A P I. But uh, then you know, years later, I I just get the feeling that she's female. I've never had it done. Like you have to get like um, a blood tested to do to do a, like a like a DNA test or something to see if it's male or female. Apparently, no secondary sexual characteristics. But um, I just get the feeling she's female. She just from like when she goes into heat, sort of, and like she's trying to lay an egg. It looks like, and she's. She's definitely, yeah, I think so. And with me, she's very like protective of me, like very, different, you know, and anybody comes comes in, comes near me, she gets like crazy. Yeah, she's very like. you think it's a female. <laughs> no, but no, that's not, no, that's not what. No, how that's not. is her name spelled? I am not going to no. say anything here or interject. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. The way her name is spelled is yeah, it's P A P I, but just right. in terms of probably like Poppy P O P P Y. When I found that she was a female, but I, well, you know, it's only I only think she's a female, so I'm not sure. That's why, but you know, otherwise you can think of this Poppy like, like a Poppy. You know? okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Now I wish you'd pour me a glass of that wine, but you're just keeping it all to yourself. Well, Shocking. I'll pour me another glass. <laughs> no, you had some wine. You had the wine when we were in Barcelona, right? You had some yes, wine? Yes, I did. I had wonderful wine when we were in Spanish Barcelona. Spanish wines are excellent. They're really good. Yeah. Really good. Vince Ransom asks us, what advice would we give to anyone starting up with orchids? And my advice would be to <clears throat> start with cheap orchids. So buy orchids from even supermarkets or places like that and experiment until you find out which ones suit your house best and everybody will have one type of orchid at least that will suit whatever the light and the heat requirements are in their house and you only find that through trial and error so i really that that's the advice i'd give anyway what about you john that's good advice. Um, I would say, well, um, what really helped me a lot was watching all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube channels on, on orchids. And so that really was a big, because this is my only source for like, you know, just current information and just, you, you know, it's, you, can, you can go buy books and stuff, but it's not the same as like when you, when you're seeing people like explaining their experiences and, and, you know, and that's how you find out about a lot of different ones that maybe you didn't know about beforehand or, you know, it's just a great, like very, very like volumes of information were on YouTube, like. All not you know not all good information, but I'm saying at least you get like you know exposed to like a you know the whole orchid world sort of that you wouldn't yeah. you know just get just in a book. So yeah, and very but, often it's like having a friend who's got some experience with the plants mm -hmm. and just having a chat. Like if you tune into one of Roger's videos, for example, it's like you've dropped around to a friend's house for a cup of tea or a glass of wine yeah. and. He just gives you, you know, his his tuppen's worth on 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 yeah. what's important in that for him in that particular day in orchids with a whole smattering advice, and that's that's a great thing about YouTube. I so I yeah. agree with you completely. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> oh. 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 No, where are we? I, I, I don't know. Should we wrap it up? I think we've probably been chatting for a long time. And you've, you've talked us through your orchids at Malvern, and they're absolutely uh, wonderful. And I think you. we've answered most <laughs> of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and just, 
Just to anybody tuning in, okay, if you don't know who I am, I'm Rachel from Gardening at Duenza, but you're on my channel, so you do know who I am. So yeah. please subscribe. And we're talking with John Greco from Barcelona, and John's channel is uh, Orchid Dude BCN, and I'll link to the channel on the video. So if you watch this later, you're going to see the link, but we can't do the link right now. So if you aren't subscribed to John already, then please subscribe to John, and you're going to be furnished with a mountain of information about orchids. And yeah, yeah. lots of great cool. stuff. Nice. Mm. Cheers, John. <laughs> Cheers. Have any more plans, any plans for the rest of the summer? Uh, yeah. uh, I'm, <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Um, yeah, I'm going to Italy soon, so that'll be fun. Um, nice. Ooh. I have uh, an open day tomorrow, so you must come over and see my garden. Yes, I definitely make a plan to the point of it this year if I can. Yeah, yeah. that'll be nice. You won't make the one tomorrow then, will you not? No, tomorrow I don't think I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone yeah. in Ireland, if you're near Wexford, then please come along tomorrow between 12 and half five and um, yeah, and see the garden and have a chat and see the orchids in the greenhouse too. There. Cool. Okay, well, will we wrap up then, John? All right, yeah, sounds good. It's been lovely chatting to you. Yeah, likewise. This is a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we have to I do it again. I think so. And just to let everybody know as well, I have a panel on my YouTube channel on the left-hand side, which has a list of all the channels, my favorite channels, okay, my personal favorite channels. And it's got John in there and various other ones that, that I love to watch. So if you're looking for a recommendation and you're interested in my recommendation, then... Do have a look at that. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, thank you very much, John. And uh, thank you. Have a great evening. Thanks everybody for coming and watching and join, joining in in the live chat. It's yes. Definitely a lot of fun. Do it again. Yeah. It's okay. my scene tomorrow. Actually, it's it's a San Juan. This is like a, there's a big a big holiday here. All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tomorrow. So tonight, like they do the big parties like the night before. So tonight there'll be like fireworks and like madness for the you know. And then tomorrow's like the actual saint. It's like it's bigger than like the birthdays here, the saints. It's huge. Oh yeah, yeah. It's lucky we didn't have the live st streaming tomorrow night then, yeah. like originally <laughs> missed all the True. fun. True. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all going right. anywhere this summer, John? Um, I have to actually I'm going to New York probably with, within the next couple of weeks. I have to go in, um I have to go back to you know my passport and do a couple of things. So uh, yeah, I'll be going to New York and I think that's about it for the summer. Um, then I'll be around here. And yeah. then we'll see if it works. My <laughs> <dance. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, great. okay. Well, have right. a great rest of your weekend. You and, too. Uh, we'll talk to and, you soon. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go.